This episode of Six Five Guys is brought to you by Defiance Machine, defying tradition with innovation. Our Bros Rifles, precision on another level. JC Steel Targets, the industry leader in quality AR500 steel targets. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Six Five Guys. I'm Ed Mobley. And I'm Steve Lawrence. And today we're going to talk about slings. Again, we have uh, quite a, a selection here. We do. And uh, Steve, you, you've actually got, got four of them. You've, you've actually had an opportunity to, to play around with, uh, with oh, more, more than I have. <laughs> I've, 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 I've kind of found you know what, what I liked and, and stuck with it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really interested to, to hear you know, some of your experiences with some different makes and models. Well, it's interesting. Um, you know, slings, as you know, are an invaluable component of precision shooting and needs to be evolved. What we're fan, what, what we've been finding the last couple of years of competing in matches is we're starting to see much more positional shooting. Yeah. And the fact that um, you want a sling that you can get into and out of pretty quickly, that's easy to fine tune, kind of on the fly. Um, and I found in using a couple of these slings more than others that um, that to me is an invaluable feature that I'm looking for. Um, there's also some pretty cool options around bungees. We can talk a little bit about that uh, in terms of how that might be useful in a barricade, barricade type situation. But um, for years I've used, and my journey kind of started uh, using this model, the, the Chuck Bahini model from HTI. Um, and, 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 and again, you know, very, very similar yeah. to, to our bipod discussion. Uh, a sling is kind of a personal thing. It is. I mean, yeah. what, what may be just the, the most awesome sling for one person may not be that for the other person. Right. So, so again, you know, to, to our audience, what we're going to focus on are the various attributes. Mm -hmm. So you can make an informed decision, you know, as you purchase, purchase a Absolutely. sling. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe but, you're going to just go through them one by one? Yeah, let's do that. Let's okay. do that. Uh, well, first off, and uh, big thank you to Armageddon Gear and the folks there. They sent us this as an eval model. Um, haven't actually mounted it up on a rifle, but it have, did have the ability to spend some time with it, check out the features, compare it versus the others. Um, this model is runs $69.99 from Ar Armageddon Gear. Um, so it's $70. Bucks, you're into it. Um, let's make sure we get kind of all the, the facts. And they come yeah. with the hardware, right? The 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 flush cups or the swivels. They don't. That so they're going to assume that you already have the hardware, the attachments okay. for your rifle. So it comes as is. If you want either flush cups or the HK AI hooks, that's a fifteen dollar add on. Okay. 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 So these come in a variety of colors. You've got uh, tan, multicam black, OD green, ATAX, as well as uh, coyote brown, which is what we have here. Um, this, because of all the slings here that you're seeing on the table, this is going to be probably your lowest cost option versus something like the AI down here at the end. Um, this is completely made in the USA. The unique thing about this sling is they bill it really as cross functionality between precision rifle as well as, as well as the soldiers. Mm -hmm. It is a very lightweight rifle sling. You'll see that the nylon webbing, even though it's 1.5 inch, it's a lighter weight. Um, you've got polymer buckles throughout. It does have the, the bungee cord feature, which we'll talk about in more detail towards the end of this episode. Um, and you can get into it out of it pretty quickly. So um, it's a very simple design. And, and so I, I could imagine that it's definitely a lightweight design. But still, even though it, it's a lighter weight nylon, for all practical purposes, it, it has all the strength that it, that it, that it needs. Yeah, right? they stand behind this with a 100% lifetime unconditional warranty. If for any reason, due to the manufacturing defects, it fails, they will replace it for free. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So uh, next up here is uh, the rifles only FTW Precision Sling. Um, I kind of think of this as sort of the Cadillac version out there. Uh, this one is going to run you uh, $130 um, all in, uh, kind of as is. Again, they're going to assume that 
you're going to have your own hardware. So what I've done here is just put on some flush cups. I've actually have used this for about four months. Uh, again, thanks. So again, you're saying it comes without without the hardware. without the hardware. Without, okay, yeah. without the hardware. So again, fifteen dollar add-on. Um, they have uh, QD flush cups, stud sling swivels, as well as HKAI hooks. Those are fifteen dollars. Either way you go. Uh, black, OD green, and Kyo brown are your options here. Okay. And, and and what's interesting is that is they've got this nylon version of of those Austro Alpine. It is. Yeah, it's not hooks. the steel version. Um, the so steel very lightweight. It is. The steel version is yeah. rated for four thousand pounds. This is rated for five hundred. I can't imagine you carrying around a five hundred pound rifle. <laughs> But but yeah, I mean compared to, to, to the metal version, which you, you have some have some weight. Absolutely, you know, weight to it. Yeah. So yeah, I think I think when you consider the weight savings, I think yeah, to your point, five hundred pounds is adequate. But okay, so why is this more expensive? Okay, if you actually look at it, right, you've got the the one point five inch um, heavy duty nylon webbing, um, very heavy duty bungee feature. Uh, the other thing is all their buckles are steel. Okay, so uh, you've got steel buckles and in fact you have two cam buckles. Uh, we'll talk again in detail around why they use two, but it gives you a lot of flexibility around kind of easily adjusting this very fast and having it locked down. Right. Um, so, you know, when you look at kind of the, the build quality, just the, the components that are in this sling, uh, that's that's what your money's going towards. And I'm seeing a theme here in, in, in both of these things because in this particular game, unlike other games or sports that use sling like, say, Palma or, mm. or, or, or three position where you know exactly how you're going to adjust your sling for each position and they're divided up into nice time-bound slots, you may find out that you, you have to literally within seconds transition Mm. Uh, between those various positions and so having something with that quick adjustability is very important yeah yeah absolutely oh a big shout out to, to lisa bynum for sending us this eval unit um, thank you lisa all right so uh yeah that's the rifles only one uh again you know what's different about this um is you know your, your ability to kind of quickly get in and out of it with your uh Austria Alpine, or you know, they also call it the Cobra Buckle. So, okay, next up we have the Hard Targeted Interdiction or HTI um, Cop Jaeger Chuck Mahaney model. Um, this I actually have been using for the last couple of years. Uh, recently, have been moving more towards um, you know the rifles only sling. This sling is ninety five dollars. You could buy it through Tried Tactical. Um, it's kind of unique in that it does use a aluminum riggers belt in order to adjust the slip cuff. Mm -hmm. This is the only sling on the table that actually has the non-skid uh, material in that slip cuff. Which actually, the, the AI does. Oh, it does. Yeah, it does. Very yes. nice. Okay. Yeah, which is a nice feature. It is. Yes. I really like that because you know, for you guys that use slings, you'll find if you don't cinch it up tight above the bicep, it does have the tendency to slide down, and then you're trying to either tighten it back up or trying to adjust the tension on your sling to get get it uh, dialed in right. So um, you have that feature and it's very easy to cinch it up as well as um, quickly release it um, using that buckle. Okay, you've got Fastex nylon buckles throughout. Um, this one did come with the, with the flush cups, so that's part of the $95 that you pay. It also has um, a dual-sided hook and loop Velcro, which allows you to put on these dope sheets. So it gives you, um, with the sling, a little dope sheet in 50 yard increments from 100 to 1,000 yards. Um, you can buy these patches, uh, again, through Tried Tactical. Um, so, you know, if you're a hunter or, you know, you're gonna use this with a specific rifle and, and ammunition. And you're not gonna go around with a wrist coach. Yeah, you're not gonna <laughs> go around with a wrist coach. Um, it may save you time, so right. it's another consideration. Um, yeah, so not much more to say about this. You know, good solid option to consider. And then um, the other one we have here is the short action precision sling, the SAPS sling. Um, this sling runs, I believe, $90. Correct. 
So um, again, another good option. The one thing I really love about this is, again, you have the cam buckle. Um, this is metal. Um, this one has been design designed from the ground up for um, positional shooting, very easy positional shooting, you know, something you'd expect for standing or, or kneeling. So that once you have this cinched in, um, you can dial in the adjustments, like from a kneeling position, using these two um, attachments on that cam buckle. So uh, as far as options on that, uh, you know, your choice for $90, uh, it's going to include either the flush cups, the HKA eye hooks, or the stud sling swivels, your choice. Um, uh, when you order it, you just pick which one you want. And uh, again, three colors, black, coyote brown, and OD green. Excellent. So what I have here is I have the, uh, the tab uh, gear sling. I actually purchased this when they uh, first came out, mm -hmm. when they first started using the Austro Alpine hooks. And what's interesting about it is this, this front part right here, when it, when it comes off, it just simulates just a standard military sling. Mm -hmm. And so you can just put that around your arm and put that on the front of the rifle and mm -hmm. just use it use it just just like that. And and, yeah. and I've used it. positional but not necessarily to carry the rifle around. Correct. And then if you if you want to carry the rifle, you can you can just connect it back like that. Mm -hmm. And then this section right here, this middle section, allows you to adjust the, the overall length. Mm -hmm. But again though you're not going to be doing it on the fly. I mean, this is this is something that you would adjust ahead of time to to your needs yep, if, if right. you want to yep. if you want to carry the rifle. Same here versus you know some of these newer designs that that mm -hmm. let you do these adjustments on the fly. So I've seen a combination of both metal and uh, your polymer buckles. Correct. Well, this this doesn't take any weight. This is okay. simply just to to take up the the slack uh, okay. around your your bicep. But to your point, though, sometimes you know this will this will slide mm -hmm. loose, and when you make the adjustment for a particular position, say prone versus kneeling, you, you can't do it on the the fly, or at least I haven't been able to yeah. to do it on the fly like you can with with some of these other designs. Now, one thing I like about uh, this particular design that I don't believe you have on the other slings is this is this is the the rear part of the sling <coughs> and so if you want to order it with different styles of hooks these mm -hmm. are the the traditional swivels but of course you can get the hk hooks uh, and you can get you can get the the flush cups but they <coughs> this is like four layers so of together. webbing thick and you can use that for a rear support right Absolutely, and and actually, when you're in a match where they don't allow the use of a, a bag. rear bag, you can you can put your your hand around that. Yeah, and I tell you, it's it's mm -hmm. it's very very stable. So so that's just an I don't know if they thought about this when when they did that. Yeah. but but it definitely has a a, a very nice, yeah, it's a very nice uh, design. In fact, our friend uh, Jeremy Bentham, you know, he had a custom sling made for himself. And just, just, just yeah, with this. It, it had uh, a very similar type of feature. But the cool thing though is, if you already have a sling and and you have access to a heavy duty sewing machine, you yeah. can go to the hardware store and get this material and and actually uh, beef up the the back of your sling to to actually uh, accomplish uh, the same thing. Yeah. Now again, these are metal. Uh, little heavier i noticed that because yeah. i noticed uh you know I, I had actually played around with your sling what a, a year a year or two ago uh, tried it out for a couple of shooting sessions and i did notice it was it was quite a bit heavier than what i would expected but i tell you it's it certainly held up i mean you can tell by all the wear and tear on this yeah. this, this is a sling that i have used regularly yeah and then the uh the now, retail price on that it's uh 125 as is um well, hold on, with the stud well, swing plastic, swivels, yeah, yeah $13 yeah. for the swing swivels, $15 for the HK hooks, $20 for the flush cups. Now, they have two other lower cost options. They have what they call the simple sling, which does away with this buckle. That's $45. 
And then they have one called the regular sling, which actually replaces this with a Fastex plastic buckle similar to this. And that is $55. So actually a great value. Absolutely. From Absolutely. a cost standpoint. Absolutely. And then you have the Accuracy uh, International Sling. Mm -hmm. These are, are $60. And again, just very simple. They, they just uh, approximate your, your traditional military type sling. Again, they only come with the HK hooks because they were originally designed for the AICS or, or the Arctic Warfare. Right. But of course, now AI has moved to flush cups. So I don't know if we're going to be seeing these with flush cups but they're easy enough to, to retrofit. Yeah. And they actually have some of the, the non-slip material right here inside. And so when you put that on your arm, it, it really does help keep, keep the thing from, from sliding down. Mm -hmm. And so when I'm shooting an AICS that has the, the HK hooks on the side, this is the sling that I reach for. And if I'm, shooting a, a rifle that has the the traditional uh, sling stud or if I have the Harris bipod on the sling stud I hook this to the Harris bipod and yeah. it loads right there in the center and so I, I've, I'm currently uh, using this sling so I, I, I bounce back and forth but personally I'm looking to investigate uh, some of the other options I mean I haven't had a chance for example to, to play around with the short action precision sling there there's some things I like about it as far as just the, the fast adjustability that yep. I definitely want to want to audition that well great uh, what you're gonna see up next guys is we're gonna actually demo a couple of the features of these slings so let's take a look all right guys Steve back here to show you a little bit about the rifles only FTW precision sling. I'm not going to go through all the features. I just wanted to show you one of the unique features, which is the bungee system. It allows you to get a little bit of a reprieve on a long day with your rifle by absorbing some of the shock of your, you know, 15, 20 pound gun as you're walking from stage to stage. The other thing is it's unique from barricades. So you'll notice that if you're coming up to a barricade with your sling, right? reverse kneeling as I place my rifle on on the barricade butt of the stock is in the shoulder pocket and as I kneel down it puts some tension on this bungee thereby pulling the rifle into me to really tighten things up really helps to steady the shot okay once I'm on target take my shot there you go. Okay, what I have here is the Accuracy International Sling. As you can see, it is just a very, very basic sling. Put it up on your arm like this. You can cinch it down. And then you simply connect on the hooks like so. And then this is Steve's rifle, so the bolt's on the wrong side. And you can see that you're good to go. Again, the drawback of this design compared to some of the other slings is to, to make adjustments here, you're, you're not going to be able to, to do that on the fly. And then this buckle here just, just tends to slide loose. And so you're going to find yourself you know, constantly making sure that this actually uh, gets up. But again, uh, good basic sling, good basic design. Hey guys, um, here to demonstrate uh, some of the unique fun functionality of the short action precision sap sling. Uh, so again, you know, this installs, in my case, with flush cups on the front. Um, I'm going front left and then rear left. So with this sling, uh, you have a slip cuff, basically bring that onto your arm above the bicep, pull it to cinch it up. The bullet goes to the outside, that's important. Okay, from here, slip leap, grab the front of the rifle, and I'm going to go into a kneeling position. Okay, the important thing here is you have your fine tuning adjustments here. This is a Titan. That's to loosen. So you've got a quick cam buckle. 
either way. So once you're in position, you need to tighten up. You can get it dialed in. Maybe that's a little bit too tight. So I can come in, loosen it up here. So if I want to tighten up, okay, that feels good. Ready to take my shot. Okay, when I'm done, they have a quick detach or it's an escape buckle. Boom, I'm out. Okay, so I can go in and drive on to the next stage. The tab gear sling, again, very similar to the AI sling. Put it up on your bicep, cinch it down. They don't have any of the anti friction material that is on the AI sling. I, it would be nice if there was something like that to help keep it from slipping down. I prefer the standard sling swivel fittings because unlike the flush cups or the hooks on the AICS that are on, on the side, these right here exert their force right in the center of the stock. And I, I just prefer that particularly if I'm using a tripod mounted rifle and I'm using the sling to steady the rifle. And then there you go. Again, very traditional sling. Another thing that we talked about with this sling is again, this end right here that's very stiff. So if you have that on the back of your rifle and they're telling you, hey, you're not allowed to use a rear bag, well, you can still get a lot of the control and functionality of a rear bag by actually just grabbing it like that and you get a lot of good you get a lot of good elevation control like that and yet it still isolates your pulse uh, from the rifle stock so again that's the uh, that's the tab gear sling welcome back hopefully you found the demonstrations informative and hopefully we've given you some information that you'll find useful as you go out and, and make your next sling purchase. Absolutely. Yeah, if you don't have a sling, definitely invest in one. Guys, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. You won't get any junk bill. You will get notifications for any new content we put up on YouTube. If you like this video, please share it with your friends through Facebook and check out our Twitter feed. And definitely go to the website because for each video we have a detailed write-up, we'll have the links, we'll have other information. So please check that out, www.65guys.com. So remember folks, life's an adventure. Stay on target.